The Unique Belize brand offers an exclusive package, an authentic indigenous experience, excellent cuisine, enchanting music, and natural wonders making Belize a curious place. We have come a long way since the SS Polaris arrived in 1991 with 90 passengers. That growth continued through 2001 when Fort Street Tourism Village Cruise Port opened in Belize City with small boats tendering passengers. Now look where we are today. Belize did it again, attracting more than a million cruise tourists for the third consecutive year. December 2018 brought a record high number of cruise explorers, exceeding 150,000 and propelling the cruise sector to a phenomenal growth of nearly 20%. The volume of guests visiting our country have increased and I think the remaining of 2019, uh, 2020, we should see more of that which would benefit us financially more. Since 2015, we have been growing at about 30% in cruise. Our four most popular uh, tours would be uh, cave tubing, archaeological site that we would refer to as Maya Temple, Belize Zoo, and historical city tour around Belize City. The Belize team continues to make strides on all fronts, but this growth wasn't achieved without a lot of effort. The tender fleet was expanded to transfer large quantities of passengers ashore and was also enhanced to provide ADA capabilities. Our team continues to keep Belize visible on the international stage. Sea Trade Global, Sea Trade International events continue to be great opportunities to negotiate more cruise calls for Belize, to make travel agents more aware of what the destination offers and to get valuable feedback from cruise executives on enhancing tourism. Negotiations have been fruitful as the expansion was seen with more European ships such as MSC, Ada and TUI making calls to Belize. The cruise ports have also made great strides to adjust to the growth. We have over 100 stores and 12 tour operator companies within FSTV. That creates over 2,000 employees within FSTV. 97% of those 2,000 people are Belizean. They've been doing an excellent job and so good that their international ratings are at their maximum historic ever. In 2017, a new cruise port, Harvest Key, opened in southern Belize. Today, over 500 individuals are employed, bringing further economic development to Belize. Well, Harvest Key strives on, uh, uh, to be the leaders in ecotourism and conservation. Uh, from day one, uh, we have our recycling center and recently there was a complete ban on single-use plastic, uh, like straws, uh, plastic bags. All food waste uh, is being composted and used for uh, uh, fertilizing and all wastewater is treated and uh, used for irrigation. I've been fortunate to first of all get a contract with NCL, having a ferry business, bringing people from Harvest Key to Placentia. Most people come to Placentia to enjoy what we have to offer. They love the people but they love to go see the fish, see the birds, they go inland, you know, see all, all what we have from the reef to the mountain. They come and see what we have to offer and many of them stop in at hotels and would comment that they would come back. We and the village council made sure we put in a boardwalk and when we were considering the sidewalk we looked at the arrival of cruise passengers for the day. The Belize Tourism Board also invested in capacity building of local stakeholders to effectively facilitate this growth. 2018 marked another year of monumental success in building a qualified cadre of industry professionals. As Belize is diversifying to host more European ships, the demand for multilingual tour guides has increased. Therefore, courses were offered in French, Italian and German. Working hand in hand with the uh, Belize Tourism Board, one of the key factors is to uh, have all of our guides uh, train. One of the, the primary things that we looked at is guest satisfaction. We've been working very diligently with the tour operators um, that offer services to, to the guests and to ensure that they've been trained in marketing. 
capacity building and how to enhance their businesses as a tour operator. As the ships are getting bigger, docking cruise ports have become necessary. The government is therefore working towards a cruise port with docking facilities in Belize City. To date, Stake Bank broke ground in February 2019 and an MOU was signed with the Port of Magical Belize in September 2017. The growth, however, has to be in line with the vision of the 2030 National Sustainable Tourism Master Plan, which requires growth to be properly managed. There are two uh, initiatives that we're working on. Uh, one particularly being the Global Sustainable Tourism Council assessment for Belize City geared towards cruise tourism. The other, um, I would say, project that we're working on also is a carrying capacity study for both cruise ports. The cruise carrying capacity study will allow us to ensure that our growth is, in, is done in a sustainable manner. I must applaud every single person who have made the significant effort to be a part of this industry and cash in positively. Belize's tourism future looks bright. The phenomenal growth in cruise tourism continues as more agents and travelers learn of the exclusive experience Belize can offer. Together with our valued partners and stakeholders, the Belize Tourism Board continues to strategically promote and position Belize as a favorite vacation destination. Thank you.